Dingleberries. This is going to be a super duper bad quality video because my computer likes to make those little lines when I try to film anything off of it. I just wanted to make a quick mention of something I saw the other day. I live on Cape Cod uh, where we have a lot of little white girls, if that makes sense. I don't mean to sound a little racist, but we have a lot of white girls and they are all identical. <laughs> There's very little individuality where I come from. And I was walking through the Mashpee Commons the other day after coming out of work, and I saw that a Lululemon pop-up store had arrived in the Commons in a store where they usually have, like, designer purses, things like that. Apparently they decided to have, I'm not sure what the duration of it is, but they decided to have a designer pop-up store there. Which I thought was foolish, it's just a little stupid, because Lululemon is an online company, and all their shipping is free on their overpriced items. Their, their items are incredibly overpriced. Not, not just a little, not like a 10% thing. We're talking like at least twice as much as anything that they produce is worth. It is priced at. But we had people, I think there was about 15 different people, a couple of groups, and then a couple of individuals lined up outside of this store waiting to go in. <laughs> you know, risking their lives to get sick, potentially, in this crowd of people when they could be shopping online for the same products for the same prices, not paying any extra shipping, and just, just, you just wait a little bit. Or, like I'm about to mention, you could just support a company that doesn't fucking suck. This, that I'm showing here, is a dress from Lululemon. It's called the Face Forward Dress. And this limited edition Roxana Elinsic co collaboration pairs her bold and feminine aesthetic with our technical innovation. You'll want to move in this flowing dress. Look at that dress. It's fucking just tied at the waist and fabric. That's not innovation. That's a dress. This dress costs $249. Yeah, $249 for that dress. I could make that dress. I'm not a seamstress but I could make that dress. And here's an average look, just, just their average prices of their leggings, and I think that's a, a men's training pant there. $118 for men's pants, up to $138, I believe, was the highest price for men's pants. High-rise tights, you got $128 for a pair of tights, uh, $88 for a cropped, so crop tights, very, very similar. And then you have these time to sweat crops. You got $98 is their average price for leggings. Occasionally you get 88. And then you get 118, which is most of the stuff they have listed on their products. Their product legging line is $118 right now. Can you imagine? Their products are made in Southeast Asia and China. They're not made in America. They're not made in Europe. They're made out of nylon microfiber, which they patented because they thought that using more microfiber, which is the cheaper material used in spandex, was a good idea that people would love. Nobody's looked into it. Nobody's researched this brand very much, so they're very, very popular because their prices are high, so their customers assume that their quality is high. But that is not true. If you're going to buy something, research it first. Find out where it comes from and if it's worth the money you're spending on it. Don't be a fucking white sheep. It's ridiculous.